Greetings, anime fans! 2023 was a banner year for anime. Attack on Titan delivered its epic finale, while Demon Slayer and Jujutsu Kaisen returned with new seasons. Fortunately, we can expect another year of anime fireworks. With a plethora of highly anticipated premieres and compelling new series debuting, let's delve into the treasures January has in store. Welcome to my Shadow Tavern. Today we're going to unveil the top 10 new anime of January 2024. One Piece, Egghead Island Arc. The Odyssey of the Straw Hats plunges headlong into its final saga with the captivating Egghead Island Arc. This arc takes them to a futuristic frontier, the mysterious Egghead Island, the domain of the brilliant but enigmatic Dr. Vegapunk. But idyllic exploration gives way to a dangerous power play that involves them in world government machinations, shadowy CP0 agents, and a veiled project linked to the Void Century. Egghead Island pulses with innovation. Expect Vegapunk's awe-inspiring inventions, each pushing the boundaries of science. His island whispers of limitless potential. For One Piece fans, Egghead Island is a must-watch. It unlocks pivotal chapters in the final saga, unraveling mysteries and delivering revelations that reshape the narrative. The arc's anime debut resonated deeply, but the spotlight soon shifted to stunning character redesigns and new visuals. Each straw hat wears a meticulously crafted outfit that reflects their personality and complements futuristic setting. Since its resurrection from a six-year hiatus, Kingdom has gone from strength to strength, season after season. The anime's masterful adaptation of Yasuhisa Hara's epic manga resonates with viewers, earning high praise on my anime list and inspiring countless rave reviews. A word of caution, while the later seasons deliver stunning animation and compelling storytelling, the initial CGI in first season may be a hurdle for some. Season 5 plunges us into the heart of the Coalition Invasion arc, the manga's crown jewel of intensity and suspense. Six warring states forge an unthinkable alliance to conquer the Kingdom of Chin. Caught off guard by this unprecedented crisis, Chin faces thousands of enemy soldiers marching toward its very heart. Kingdom Season 5 is superb in terms of animation, storytelling, and action. It expertly captures the spirit of the manga. Kingdom also weaves historical and cultural elements into its tapestry, meticulously detailing the geography, politics, and warfare of ancient China. The faithfulness to the source material is commendable, while original scenes and dialogue seamlessly enhance the narrative and character development. Solo leveling has taken the anime world by storm, living up to the hype surrounding its beloved webtoon origins. Adapted from the captivating work of Chugong and Du Bu, this series transports us to a world where humanity is on the brink of annihilation. Monstrous threats emerge from interdimensional portals known as gates, forcing humanity to rely on a brave few, the hunters. Our protagonist, Sung Jin Woo, embodies the spirit of the underdog. As the weakest E-rank hunter in the world, he barely makes ends meet, fighting low-tier monsters to pay his mother's medical bills and take Take care of his younger sister, but fate takes a dramatic turn when he enters a trap of the deadly double dungeon. As the sole survivor of the raid, he unlocks a mysterious power granted by the system, giving him the ability to level up and rewrite his destiny. The anime adaptation of solo leveling masterfully captures the essence of the webtoon. The animation explodes with fluidity and dynamism, especially during the show's breathtaking action sequences. Every clash between Sung Jin Woo and his monstrous foes is a visual overload. Solo leveling is probably the most anticipated anime of the year 2024, and it offers an exhilarating escape into a world full of action and boundless potential for growth. Don't miss it. Metallic Rouge, a world on the brink of chaos. Humans and androids, known as Neons, coexist in tense harmony. But when a rogue faction, the Immortal Nine, threatens to shatter this fragile peace, a lone android named Rouge Red Star steps forward. Codename Metal Rouge, she and her human partner, Naomi Orthman, embark on a mission to Mars to hunt down the rebels and restore order. Developed by the acclaimed Studio Bones, Metallic Rouge promises to be a thrilling sci-fi mecha adventure. Beyond the pulse-pounding action and mecha battles, Metallic Rouge delves into deeper themes of morality and the nature of humanity itself. As Rouge grapples with her own identity and purpose, viewers are invited to ponder the complex dynamics between humans and artificial beings. This introspective layer adds depth and resonance to the narrative, elevating it beyond mere spectacle. The Exorcist action ignites once again in Blue Exorcist Shimane Illuminati Saga, the highly anticipated third season of the popular supernatural anime. After a seven-year hiatus since the Kyoto Saga, Rin Okumura and his fellow exorcists are back to battle demonic threats and uncover hidden secrets. Picking up where Kyoto Saga left off, 
Shimane Illuminati Saga throws Rin and his friends into a new challenges. Strange events plague the world and demand the attention of the Knights of the True Cross. Meanwhile, within the hallowed halls of the True Cross Academy, an enigmatic phenomenon throws Rin into an investigation. Studio Vol N takes the care of this season, promising stunning visuals. While the number of episodes remains a mystery, based on the manga arc, expect approximately 25 chapters of heart-pounding action and emotional depth. The familiar voices of returning cast members breathe life into to these beloved characters, with Hiroyuki Sawano and Kota Yamamoto returning as composers. Classroom of the Elite's psychological thriller delves into the shadows of academic competition and human nature. At Kudo Ikusei High, a school with a 100% pass rate, students enjoy freedom and autonomy, along with a hefty monthly allowance. The catch? A cruel caste system in which academic ability dictates privilege. Class D, the lowest rung, is home to our protagonist, Kiyotaka Ayanakuji. Cold and ambitious Suzun and kindly Kikyu join him as they navigate treacherous exams, alliances, brutal violence and rivalries, all to reach the top. Season 3 escalates the drama as Class C faces the mixed training camp, a test of cooperation between rivals across classes. Failure carries a brutal penalty, expulsion. The stakes are even higher as Ayanokuji faces off against the enigmatic Arisu Sakayanagi, who is rumored to have ties to the mysterious White Room. Will cunning strategy or brutal tactics prevail? Classroom of the Elite delivers a potent cocktail of psychological suspense, subtle romance, and pulse-pounding drama. Season Season 3, helmed by the same experienced team, promises to continue this tradition of excellence. The Dangers in My Heart Season 1 introduced Kyotaro Ichikawa, a high school student with a terrifying secret, a twisted mind full of homicidal fantasies, even fixated on the popular Anna Yamada. But as the season progressed, a twist emerged. Kyotaro's heart wasn't as black as it seemed. Feelings for Anna blossomed, leaving viewers to wonder. Can a boy with such troubling desires find love, or will darkness reclaim him? Season 2 navigates this intriguing dilemma, albeit with a surprising twist. Kyotaro's murderous musings take a backseat to the familiar beats of a classic high school romance. While this may May leave some viewers longing for the chilling edge of the original premise, it offers a different kind of thrill, the blossoming intimacy between Kyotaro and Anna. Their journey isn't smooth sailing, insecurities linger, doubts cloud their minds, and quirky classmates add their own dose of chaos. Season 2 offers its own kind of intrigue. It's a heartwarming journey of self-discovery, where even the darkest corners of the heart can blossom with the unexpected beauty of love. A Sign of Affection Adapted from the popular manga, A Sign of Affection weaves the threads of love between Yuki and Itsuomi. Yuki's daily routine unfolds in quiet moments, punctuated by conversations in sign language, text dialogues, and the attentive act of lip-reading. Her world, largely confined to her familiar routine and close friend Rin, takes an unexpected turn on a train ride when she meets Itsuomi. Unlike others who shy away from her difference, Itsuomi shows genuine curiosity and a refreshing lack of prejudice. Their connection deepens as Itsuomi becomes a window to new experiences, sharing stories from his global travels and patiently opening doors to understanding and connection. As Yuki's heart begins to stir with blossoming feelings, a pure and gentle love story takes root. A sign of affection delicately tackles the challenges and joys of navigating a cross-cultural relationship weaving its light-hearted romantic comedy with genuine tenderness and respect. The portrayal of sign language, meticulously monitored for accuracy, adds a poignant layer to the narrative and reminds viewers of the beauty and nuance of nonverbal communication. Mashal, the anime that came out of nowhere and took the world by storm, blending the magical world of Harry Potter with the rigorous training montages of classic shonen, this series is back with season 2. This season follows Mash Burndead, in a world where magic reigns supreme. Mash is naturally magicless, a secret he guards fiercely to avoid persecution. His solution is to enroll in the prestigious Easton Magic Academy and aim for the top, to become one of the elite divine visionaries. However, he has one advantage over his classmates. He is incredibly strong and can punch his way out of any trouble. The anime is produced by A1 Pictures, the same studio behind the first season, and features the same voice cast. Season 2 dives into the heart-pounding Divine Visionary Selection Exam arc, where Mash and his friends face off against other students and grueling challenges to become candidates for the most powerful mage title in the land. Fantasy takes a delicious turn in Delicious in Dungeon, a new anime series based on the popular manga by Ryoko Kui. Instead of the usual dungeon-crawling tropes of gold and glory, this light-hearted adventure follows a ragtag group of adventurers who discover the surprising culinary potential of their monstrous foes. The story begins with Laios, a swordsman whose quest for riches takes a fiery turn when his sister Phelan is devoured by a dragon. Undeterred, Laios hatches a harebrained plan to supply his rescue mission by feasting on the dungeon's inhabitants. 
His reluctant companions, Marcel and Chilchuck, join him, soon joined by Senshi, a dungeon-dwelling dwarf with a taste for the unusual. Together they embark on a culinary odyssey, navigating perilous depths and delicious discoveries in equal measure. Delicious in Dungeon offers a refreshing twist on the classic dungeon formula. The anime goes beyond the hack and slash to revel in the fantastical ecology and culture of the labyrinth's monstrous inhabitants. It's a love letter to the spirit of tabletop RPGs, where exploration and ingenuity reign supreme. Directed by Yoshihiro Miyajima, whose credits include Little Witch Academia and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and produced by Trigger, the studio behind the acclaimed cyberpunk edge runners, Delicious in Dungeon, promises an action-packed adventure seasoned with laugh-out-loud humor and delicious monster cuisine. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and hit the buttons below the player. And I'll see you in the next issue.